How is Mia doing? Has she? She's not doing well at all. Rightly so. I can leave because I'm not gonna hear Mia empathizers or somebody who is okay with violence now. But when Monique did it to Candace, she was against violence. You showed me what you are capable of. I by no means want to be anywhere near you. I have zero respect for you. You are a liability. I beg your pardon? Nobody safe. Soon as we step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Make no mistake. Either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face. We put the fear in the dirt. We had to struggle for change. Pick up the pace. We put in infinite work. That's why we stay getting paid. Turn that off. What? No, because we ain't gonna have no he say, she say bullshit. Your friend threw a drink on me. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, let's talk about why people are still hot sauce mad about the last lady and Juan's roommate after their questionable reactions to Mia Thornton's horrible behavior towards Dr. Wendy. If you watched the latest episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac, you already know that this episode was a hot mess. And in my last video, we talked about how it all went down and how I had a few choice words for Mia and Peter, who clearly hasn't learned his lesson from ruining Real Housewives of Atlanta years ago. Peter is always in the women business. Are you Peter or are you Patricia? Because we need to figure this out. And now Back to these b****s that had a lot to say the other day about Dr. Wendy on the episode. Pull up in the Sri Lanka. What? Are you, y'all want to What? No, seriously, y'all. I really was happy that I wasn't the only one holding Giselle Bryan and Robin Dixon accountable for their foolishness. Because I remember all of those theatrics from the season before last when Robin and Giselle acted like they had never seen a scuffle before. And they teamed up with certain cast members to ice out Monique Samuels from the show. I have zero respect for you. You are a liability. I by no means want to be anywhere near you. Yeah, they did the most, acting like they were so fearful of Monique that some of them even started hiring security to be present while they filmed as if production security wasn't enough. But what pissed me off the most is the lady who was bringing around a disgraced pastor and acting like their situation was holier than thou and better than what it was is actually the one who has the nerve to say that Monique was the first one to declass the show. We have been able to hold ourselves above the stereotype. And in five minutes, she took it away. Hanging around someone who decides to fight women on national television, is that a good look? No. Now, in present day, it seems like they are both walking back their previous stance, and not only are they completely comfortable being around drink-throwing, disrespectful thugs, but they are also siding with Mia and gaslighting Wendy to make it seem like everything was her fault. Look at the CEO! Look at the and it's so crazy because, like, she was so she baiting you, antagonizing. She wanted, you did exactly what, what she, she wanted. wanted you to I do. Know, I know. Well, she wins. So to clarify, yes, Monique was definitely wrong for beating down Candace like that. But I feel like Giselle super headed. Oh, not super headed. <laughs> but I'm I. <laughs> spearheaded a whole scheme to use as an opportunity to get Monique fired by virtue signaling the audience and the other cast members so that she could force Bravo's hand. And I felt like she didn't really have an issue with the tussle. Her issue was with Monique. Fucking old telltale rat! Okay. Anyway, um... My friend House of Aaron definitely explained this perfectly in his video. In Giselle's mind, it's really not about the violence. No, it's not about the violence. She doesn't really care about the violence. She cares about who she likes more in that moment. You take the side of Mia because you dislike Mia less. Now, am I telling the truth or am I telling the truth? 
And Robin was just so disgusting for actually being antagonistic by recording the whole situation and even encouraging Dr. Wendy to go ahead and get physical with Mia or shut up. You're baiting and you're being antagonistic. If we don't, if you don't want to fight, then she stop. Did. Oh, so you're telling me to stop, but she do a drink on me, Robin. And since Bravo got their hands on the footage from Robin and made a whole thing of it, we know that Bravo enjoyed it too. And that tells me everything I need to know. <coughs> Nini add this to a lawsuit too. <coughs> Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you. Is it a coincidence? And y'all wasn't having it with Housewives fans chiming in saying, this is absolutely deplorable. The satisfaction on her face is the most disgusting thing of all. True color shown. And another fan responded, I'm tired of Giselle and Robin's hypocrisy. Y'all don't like Wendy, we get it. But we just saw someone violate her and y'all changed the rules in real time. And my spirit felt so unsettled seeing Robin recording Wendy, yelling at her to fight back. She was actually encouraging her to get physical, and I am in complete disbelief about that. And y'all had me cracking up with this one saying, Robin said she's very antagonistic about Wendy when Mia threw the drink! Question mark, exclamation point, question mark, question mark, question mark. Explain! With my good sis getting straight to the point saying, Robin, if you don't shut up calling Wendy antagonistic and you filming telling her to fight, question mark, exclamation point, but you're not violent, question mark, question mark. Child, she a lame. Since all of the backlash, Mia has reactivated her once deleted Twitter in a desperate attempt to salvage her reputation. After underestimating the public's ability to use our own brain and see that even though she walked away with a bloody nail, she was in fact the aggressor. And most of us are still rocking with Wendy, tweeting, my actions towards Wendy was intolerable. It's unfortunate that you all will attack my family, friends, and businesses based off an edited TV show. While I was committed to drama and entertainment, I must do what's best for my brand and partners. Much love, Mia. Wait a minute. And fans were not falling for this. Clapping back saying, bye messy and miserable Mia. You made it your mission to bring up the business between Wendy and Peter. It backfired and you attacked Wendy. It wasn't drama nor entertainment. It was an uncomfortable and illogical moment that you yourself created. And another fan responding, Mia, please, you didn't expect the viewers to take Wendy's side. You insinuated leaving last season and here we are. After a couple hours, Mia followed up tweeting, I take full accountability in all caps. I was wrong. No one deserves to be treated with disrespect. I'm sorry I let you all down. With another fan clapping back saying, but did you apologize to Dr. Wendy? She's the victim, not the viewers. And a Wendy fan clapped back being extra petty saying, you were reading the replies on that other tweet, huh? You bitch! Oh my God. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Juan's roommate and the first lady um, and the last lady deserve some discipline for what they did to Dr. Wendy? Ah! Or do you think that they have the right to change their mind? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is, okay. Also, let me know if you guys feel like Mia's apology was genuine or if she's just trying to save face. Something about this doesn't sit Right in my Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. They definitely got my blood boiling, but I will say that I will be tuned in to Real Housewives of Potomac for at least the next few episodes to see if I need to keep windmilling for Dr. Wendy or if these girls are going to finally act like they got some sense. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I will see y'all on the next one. Moving fast, already gone. Yeah, but you bringing me back. Try to double cross me, dog. Just let me relax. Stop assuming what we do.